welcome back to my channel super excited for this video because i'm finally sitting down to film like my perfect mermaid waves hair tutorial it's a style that i do quite frequently it's one of my favorites because i just find that it lasts a really long time on me i'm going to show you guys all of my tips my tricks the products that i use because i feel like i've come up with the perfect formula to get these waves and before we get started super excited to also announce that today's sponsor is audible you guys know i love audible i share my audible picks with you guys every single month if you don't know what audible is they are the leading provider in spoken word entertainment with an audible membership you can stream thousands of titles from bestsellers business celebrity memoir you can listen to podcasts which I love there is health and wellness and motivational topics as well audible is something that I use every single day of my life I have been pretty busy and my thing is finding ways to multitask so whenever I'm getting ready doing my hair or makeup whenever I'm driving whenever I'm packing orders for Sunday energy I will typically have audible playing in the background whether I'm listening to a podcast or an audiobook I'm actually gonna share my pick with you guys actually I'm gonna share two picks with you guys because they're so good. I have a deal for you guys. If you are brand new to Audible, never been a member before, you're actually gonna get to try it for 30 days for free. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash Melissa F or you can text Melissa F to 500 500 to start your 30 day free trial, which also gives you access to Audible Plus catalog. Audible Plus, you're going to have access to stream thousands of titles in different formats, different genres, Audible originals, which are really, really good. Let me show you guys my current favorite this is the title that i'm currently listening to it is called inner glimpse it's all about like changing your mindset into something more positive and i specifically love listening to this while i'm driving because i feel like it just enters my subconscious mind and it really has put me in such a good mood and then right before this one i was listening to the title called manifest now go sign up for your 30-day free trial and download manifest now it is so good something really cool that i love about audible as well is that it syncs with all of your devices so i can start listening to one of the audiobooks in my car while i'm driving and then when i get home i can continue listening to wherever i left off on my ipad it is just so convenient and i love it so again don't forget to take advantage of this deal go to audible.com slash melissa f or text melissa f to 500 500 to start your 30-day free trial with audible okay this is one of my favorite brush brands it's called wet brush i have been purchasing these brushes for years they're amazing super gentle on your hair makes it super easy to detangle and it's definitely safe to use on hair extensions as well i repurchased this brush all the time and they come in different colors so i like to switch it up i can see how this hairstyle can be pretty damaging to your hair because you're literally applying direct heat to your entire hair pretty much so you want to make sure that you're using a heat protectant today we're going to be using the hot toddy heat protectant by dry bar i love this one i've been using it for a really long time and it's just super easy to use it's like a dry spray so if your hair is already dry this is a really good one to use. You can apply the heat protectant directly to each piece of hair that you're about to use the waiver on. I try to do that, but for the most part, I do try to just apply the heat protectant all at once before I start styling my hair because there have been so many times where I just forget to apply it. So I like to try to at least get it all over my hair in the beginning. Okay, so this is the waiver that I use and I've been using this waiver for quite a few years. I purchased it from Amazon and it is amazing you guys i will of course link it for you so make sure you check the description bar so i like to work in smaller sections this is about to be the easiest hair tutorial you guys will ever follow it's just so simple the waiver does all the work for you so i like to work in smaller sections so i am using like this much hair and i'm going to grab my waiver which is already hot and i you literally just open up the clamp and close down on it and that is it this waiver gets super hot so i try not to leave it on for too too long and then when you are ready to let go you just open up the clamp you slide the waiver down a little bit underneath that very last wave and you clamp down again you see how i'm not holding it super tight like i'm not going like this you want to make sure you keep that wave like wave instead of like straining it out Depending on how my ends are looking, I'll do the waiver all the way to the end. I think I will do that today. Sometimes I leave a little bit out 
or towards the top of my hair i'll leave the ends out a little bit more but the bottom pieces i think i'm gonna wave to the end and this is your first wave and then i just throw it to the back and forget about it i also don't start waving it like directly to the root of my hair i leave a little bit of space in between like it's at like two inches it doesn't matter if you apply the waver like from behind your hair or from the front like i did on this side they honestly look exactly the same so again just clamp down and every few seconds you just open up the clamp and slide it down gently until you wave the entire piece of hair like i said this is like the easiest hair tutorial ever so i am going to speed it up just a little you guys will still be able to see what i'm doing and i will touch base with you guys when we get closer to the top so i can share a few more little tips I just want to show you guys again how when I get to the front pieces, I don't clamp on super close. I like to start a little bit lower. It just, I feel like it looks better in the front if you're not like super wavy from the tippy top of your hair. Just clamp it around here. And I do this for all the front pieces and the very top of my hair. When you're done, your hair should look like this. And then while the hair is cooling off, I like to take these little creaseless hair clips and I will put them where there's an indent because I especially like to flatten out the very front piece here. I just find that it looks much better when you do that. Otherwise, like the wave kind of like sticks out. So I will press these down here. I like to do four of them just to like really smooth and flatten this part out just a little bit. Trust me, it looks a lot better. A lot of times I will leave these on for a pretty long time. Like if I'm just in the house doing things, I'll just leave them on. I know you guys see me on stories with them on. Um, but yeah, I just let my hair cool down as much as possible. With this, I don't add any hairspray or anything like that. However, I do add one other product. When the hair completely cools down, I like to use a little bit of mousse. You can use pretty much any mousse that you'd like. I don't use a lot of it. The one that I'm using is by Way, and it's called Air Dry Foam Mousse Air. I really like it because it smells really, really nice. And it's still kind of flexible. Like, it doesn't make my hair really like hard or anything like that so i'm really loving using this mousse for this style i apply very little of this mousse by the way it smells incredible like i'll do like a little bit like this at a time and i will start with the ends first what i really love about applying the mousse is that it gives it like this wet sleeker kind of look because sometimes this style can look a little frizzy so i like the sleek wet look it gets from the mousse and then it just makes it last so much longer when you apply a little mousse to it do you see how this side is looking a bit sleeker compared to this side it's not a huge difference but it makes a big difference and i don't run my fingers through the hair by the way i kind of just put the mousse like on top of the hair because i don't want to mess up the waves and this is our hairstyle. Now, I do apply one more thing. You don't have to do this, especially if you use this mousse because this mousse smells like perfume. I think it smells like one of their perfumes, actually. It's really, really good. This, this is the first time I ever purchased a hair perfume, and I thought it was such a dumb purchase at first, but I actually love it, and I wear hair perfume almost every day now. Well, every time I go out, I do like to put a little hair perfume. I'm actually almost done with the bottle. 
but it's by Gisu and it smells so so good as well if you're familiar with the Gisu hair products the hair perfume you will love as well so I just like spray it all over but this is the style that you're left with and another little tip the next day when I wake up my hair will look dry again like it won't look as sleek and wet as it did as it does right now but I just put a little bit more mousse the next day and it still looks amazing and I swear this combination helps this style last so long and I feel like whenever I do this style I don't have to wash my hair as quickly because it just looks really really good for a while all right guys that is the end for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you give this hairstyle a try tag me in your photos and your stories i want to see how it came out i know you guys are going to look absolutely beautiful thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.